A new dawn has broken, has it not? And it is wonderful. We always said that if we had the courage to change, then we could do it. And we did it. And let me say this to you. The British people have put their trust in us. It is a moving and it is a humbling experience. And the size of our likely majority now imposes a special sort of responsibility upon us. We have been elected as New Labour and we will govern as New Labour. We were elected because as a party today, we represent the whole of this nation. And we will govern for the whole of this nation, every single part of it. We will speak up for that decent, hard-working majority of the British people whose voice has been silent for all too long in our political life. And we'll set about doing the good practical things that need to be done in this country. Extending educational opportunity not to an elite but to all our children. Modernising our welfare state, rebuilding our national health service as a proper national health service to serve the needs of Britain. We will work with business to create that dynamic and enterprising economy we need and we will work with all our people for that just and decent society that the British people have wanted for so long. This vote tonight has been a vote for the future, for a new era of politics in Britain, so that we can put behind us the battles of this past century and address the challenges of the new century. It will be a Britain renewed, where through education and technology and enterprise, we equip our country for the future in a different and new economic world and where we build a nation united with common purpose, shared values, with no one shut out, no one excluded, no one told that they do not matter. In that society, Tolerance and respect will be the order of the day as we watch our children grow in strength and our elderly rest easy and secure in old age. That is the country we have wanted for so long. A Britain whose politics starts once again to live up to the finest ideals of public service. And a Britain that stands tall in the world, who scents of its future is as certain and confident as its sense of its own history. Today, on the eve of this new millennium, the British people have ushered in this new era of politics. And the great thing about it is that we have won support in this election from all walks of life, from all classes of people, from every single corner of our country. We are now today the People's Party. The party of all the people, the many, not the few. The party that belongs to every part of Britain, no matter what people's background or their creed or their colour. The party that can stand up for what is a great country. And I want everyone to feel proud in their country tonight because they all have a stake in its success. I believe in Britain, and tonight, 
The people of Britain are uniting behind New Labour. They are uniting around basic British values, uniting to put the divisions of the past behind us, uniting to face the challenges of the future, uniting at long last as one nation. Three days ago, I quoted one of my predecessors, John Smith. He said, all we ask is the chance to serve. Tonight, the British people have given us the chance to serve, and serve we will, with all our heart and all our mind. And to you, all of you that have come here this evening, I say thank you for all your work and for all your help. It's been a long journey for this party, has it not? It's been a long journey. I'm delighted that Neil Kinnock is here tonight as well. Neil took us back. Neil took us back from the brink of extinction and help make this party what it is today. And it is with real pride that we, all the people here, young and old from every part of the country, from every background, we say tonight, you the British people have given us the chance to serve you. You have put your trust in us and we say to you, we shall repay that trust for you. We govern for you. Finally, all these years, we have been people saying, but never given the chance to do. And yet the only purpose in being in politics is to do, to get things done, to make things happen. Now we have the chance to make things happen. And we take that responsibility upon us, and we say we shall discharge it, and we shall make this country as proud of us as tonight we are proud of them. Thank you very much indeed.